years of years of experience and precision and metrics and statistics and, and all the people here with their <laughs> models. I am so excited to show you my three crayon drawings today, which is about what you're going to get. Uh, my name is Dwayne O'Brien. I joined Indeed in 2017 to help them grow an open source program. And the work I did at Indeed was, has been very focused on getting our en engineers and uh, our employees engaged in contributing to open source projects rather than measuring the health of our existing open source projects. And it's an inverted way uh, of, of looking at metrics for which there has historically been no tooling. Uh, I hired Danny in 2018 uh, to create some of the tooling that we needed to measure contribution activity of engineers and other employees across Indeed. Uh, and we had this in place in time to start uh, for Hacktoberfest in 2018. If you're not familiar with it, Hacktoberfest is a global event uh, that happens every year for the past six years. This will be the seventh year. Submit four pull requests in the month of October, and DigitalOcean will send you a t-shirt. I don't work for DigitalOcean. I don't work for GitHub, who's also worked with them before. Uh, but I want to talk about our experience with Hacktoberfest and its impact on our employees making contributions. So this is the first crayon drawing, uh, and this is right around when we first started collecting information about employee contributions. You will notice there are no numbers and no legend, and I did this on purpose mostly to make you angry. Um, <laughs> but what I will say is we take a broad view of contributions. We measure a bunch of events. It's very GitHub focused. Uh, it's not just code commits. It's not just pull requests. It's comments. It's participation uh, uh, on GitHub. Uh, and we did it the same way for both charts. So it's, it's going to be at least consistent, if, even if it's consistently bad. We care mostly about more or less being accurate and less about precision. We just wanted to know how are people doing in general. Um, so this is the first month we started measuring activity. And one of the early lessons that we learned was baselining during a big promotion is a terrible idea. So we were completely without a baseline for a while. But this is um, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. It's about the first uh, six or seven months or so. This is Hacktoberfest last year. We pu uh, pushed out programs internally to encourage employees to participate in Hacktoberfest. Um, and you can obviously the bar is much taller. What I will say is that in every metric that we use to measure the health of contribution activity at Indeed, two to three times the amount of activity during the month of October than we normally see. Hacktoberfest last year had about 60,000 people that completed it, and in aggregate, they completed about 480,000 pull requests. There's all kinds of information out there about what Hacktoberfest has done. I've not seen anybody talk about this, and I don't know that anyone else is really paying attention. We were able to drive really significant engagement from our employees to open source projects that they love. Some of them we use, some of them we don't. Um, and I, I got so excited by this, I only did three slides, right? <laughs> um, so I don't know what, exactly where to go with this right now. What I do know is that I don't get to measure it again until October. Uh, and with that kind of like time period between your ability to see how it's doing, you can't get very much data. Uh, what I'm really hoping will happen is that other companies will take that same approach of measuring contribution activity from their employees in particular paying attention during Hacktoberfest so that we can collect and share the data together and with all of you and my four minutes is officially up. Thank you. <laughs>